Good morning, guys. Johnny with Blaze Grass Long Hair. We got our first two. It's uh, eight o'clock now. See that crispy? Crispy, crispy. That's what we're talking about. Two inches. That's where we're gonna keep it at. And we also hit this one two inches as well. And let me show you my two excellent, excellent assistants. Uh, the Toro 4000 Z Master, 48 inch deck. And the Gravely 32 Pro Stands in the back there. But let me tell you, with that Pro Stands, it minimizes. I mean, we are scraping that back yard. I mean, our back our fence right there, trying to get in, but it works. And it increases your efficiency uh, as far as getting the job done in a timely manner. And uh, yeah, it's all about time, guys. We don't want to spend too much time walking back and forth. I'd rather ride back and forth. You know what I mean? Increase proficiency, efficiency. And it gives us a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cut as well. Here, let me show you that edge. Let me show you that crispy edge. Look at that. Hmm? Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, let me give you a hint. This is how you can increase your prices when the time comes and your customer will not complain. See what I mean? If you don't do work like that and you try to increase prices, man, your customer will automatically go to someone else. You see, the goal is to make your customer addicted to that beautiful cut, right? <laughs> Enjoy the process, man. There's no rush. That's what I keep telling you guys. Some of you guys want to do 50 and 40 and you brag, well, we did 50 and 40 properties today. Man, please, you keep that. I'd rather do 10 beautiful, nice yards than do 50, 40 crappy yards. Because remember guys, Everything you do reflects on your business. You know, your truck is parked right outside of that property. And believe me, neighbors are watching. Neighbors are watching. See what I mean? So take your time and do real good work rather than speed up and do mediocre work but do a whole bunch of work. This way, when it comes time for you to bring up your prices, customers see the value because it's all about the value, you know what I mean, in what you're doing. Put yourself in a customer's shoe, you know? You have somebody more in your yard and they're doing a damn good job, you know, and they increase three bucks here, two bucks here. Guys, let me tell you, customer will be like, ah, no problem, sure. You do mediocre work, increase that. They're gonna be like, nah, for that? For what you give me? Man, please, I'll go find somebody else, right? All right, guys, don't say I didn't tell you. <laughs> oh, man, oh, let me let me move this stuff here. I don't know, these people, yeah, let me go ahead and move this. I'll be right back. I was about to park, but this was in my way. I guess they're getting rid of it. Man, look at that. Too bad I don't have small little kids, huh? Look at this. Man, with the plug and everything. Ooh, this little joker is heavy. God dang. What's going on? Here's the competition. Ooh. Move this out the way. Let's see. 
here. So we'll go. Pretty cool, huh? Man. I may take it. Probably still works. Huh. Let me do the lawn and put it to the side. Just in case. That's an awesome find. Right. I know this is a crazy video, guys. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Ah, let me let me mow this lawn here and uh, see if I can come up with somebody to take that too. Man, that's an excellent find, right? And they have the plug for it too, so I know it works. All right, let me get hot. Sorry guys, um, this is the Husqvarna 325 ILK, and it is sort of like a combi uh, system. And basically, uh, I have the uh, curve shaft attachment on it, and this is what I use to edge when I want to use a stick edger. Now I've been asked several times do I edge on every service visit and the answer is no. I edge uh, my bi-weeklies on every service visit. That is a given. And the price is included in the service. Now my weeklies are edged every other week or as needed. Um, again, it depends on the type of grass and, and how much uh, how much is growing. So yeah. Now this right here is centipede, and the leaves that you're seeing is from the live oak trees. And man. This is, is something else. The, uh, the live oak trees just keep shedding and shedding and shedding. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you have two, um, two methods of cleaning this up. You know, you can, you can easily bag it, uh, which we don't do. But, but uh, most of our customers do not pay for bagging, um, especially a customer like this one here. This is a bi-weekly customer, so uh, they want regular mowing. So what we try to do is uh, just kind of mulch it up. Um, in a few minutes, you'll see that the Toro Seamaster 4000 have a uh, green guard uh, shoot blocker. So we try to close the chute, and uh, it also has the uh, mulching blades, blades as well. So you know, we shut, you know, we close the chute and mow and you know disperse and stuff like that but it you know at the end it leaves a nice nice crispy cut now this thing right here guys i can edge six or seven homes sometimes eight depending on the uh how big the property is with one battery So I get asked a lot of time, guys, because, um, you know, you'll see me go up and down, up and down, and then I'll go crisscross. Do I double cut all my lawns? And for the most part, yes. All my lawns are, are double cut. Um, that's just something that I do. And, and, you know, you may say, well, this is a waste of time. No, well, not to me. Okay, we all have different views on, on, on what we want to see. To me, a waste of time is going 20, 30 minutes to a property. You know, that's out of your way. See what I mean? So, so we we can we can <laughs> we can agree to disagree. Um, my my goal is to give the customer uh, what they're paying for. You know, if I'm paying for someone to come out and mow my lawn. Um, you know, I want them to do a, a good job. I want them to give a, a, a perfect uh, or close to perfect uh, end result with the, you know with what I have. So my goal is that at all times, giving my customers 
the best cut that I can give them. Um, you know, again, I'm not a, magi um, a magician, okay? So <laughs> I can perform my miracles here. I can just, you know, do the best with what I have at hand. So yes, I, I basically, I don't find it to be a waste of time. And, and you know, like a property like this, guys, you know, let, let's be honest here. You know, once I, you know, the first one takes a little bit longer, but then, you know, once I start going left to right, you know, it's a little bit faster and it's just to disperse the clippings and, you know, trim a little bit of, uh, you know, blades of grass. And I said blades of grass, you know, just trim them off a little bit and leave, a, 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 you know, the best end result that I can possibly give them. So that's just, just one thing that I saw. No, at the end, I don't find this to be a waste of time. guys not sure if you saw if you seen what I just did now up and down my deck was set at two inches because that's what I want my cut to be but when I go left to right then my deck is set at 2.5 or 2.25 sorry about that um, and again that is mainly to disperse the uh, mulch leaves or grass leaving a beautiful beautiful finish at the end guys that are asking just just in case you know <laughs> once you're viewing this video so man where, where all these leaves are coming from the, the live oak tree is right over to your left um on the uh, neighbor's property you know so uh yeah the, the wind kind of blows it over in this property so and again um i try to mulch it and not open the chute and blow it back into the neighbor's property you know you know what i mean I mean, I can easily do that and get away with it, but again, that's that's not my thing. My thing is, uh, you know, just again, mulch it up, uh, make it as fine as I can, and just, um, you know, blow it out. So you'll see me go up and down a couple of times. And again, you know, it's just, I, I enjoy, I enjoy the process, guys. Um, my crews, you know, they, they're on a time frame, that's just them, but when it comes to me, this is what I do. I enjoy the process. Alright, so we're going to uh, trim around obstacles and around the house. So this is the Husqvarna 520ILK and with this one um, you can either have the head go clockwise or counterclockwise. I tried doing it um, clockwise but it I just I just can't do it. You know, it has to be <laughs> I have to keep it running counterclockwise. That's just the way, you know. Kind of got used to it. 
and this is just a piece that I forgot just now, the edge. Now you may ask uh, how long those, do the batteries last on these guys. Um, it depends on your uh, skill level and what you're trimming. Uh, on, on average properties like this, I can get away with uh, probably about five, five properties if uh, a corner lot is included. But if you know if I don't have a corner lot, then I'll be looking at seven to eight properties. Again, we're trimming, and that's just a courtesy with him, you know, little weeds and stuff inside of plant beds. And the same thing right here, you know, I try to clean it off just a little bit. All the weeds that are poking out. I know some of you guys may say, you know, hey, you're, you're going the wrong way. You, know, you should be going um, from right to left. But again, this is this is comfortable, and this is the way I do it. And uh, as long as the end result is uh, pleasing to the customer, that's that's what it's all about. So as you can tell, um, I am not running this thing at full full power because it's not needed. Um, with this, you know, just to kind of knock the little weeds down and stuff like that and just give it a nice clean appearance is what we're trying to do. But here all I'm doing is uh, just cleaning off the things here and there and you know making it neat. And this is just turf lining. And again, enjoying the process. Enjoying the process. That's what it's all about. And guys, again, remember, this is not a cleanup. This is just a mowing. Now, I've noticed that on most videos, guys, um, you guys only show mowing. Uh, you don't show a lot of trimming and I like to concentrate on the edging and trimming because again mowing is up and down up and down up and down um, left to right you know simple plain but but trimming you know you you, you kind of have to visualize and and also keep the turf that you're trimming the same height as the turf that you mow. So there is more of a skill when it comes to trimming than, I mean, mowing is, yes, there, there is a skill in mowing, but with trimming, you have to be a little bit more uh, diligent and, uh, you know, pay a little bit more attention. Um, yeah, so that's, that's why I like to kind of show it. And, you know, also, uh, you know, turf lining. Um, turf lining is when you just take the little hairs from it corner to kind of make everything crispy and here you know like you see uh i'm just cleaning the cracks from the street um and by the mailbox and just making things tight you know i like i like things to look neat so when i step back um you know it looks like it was done by blades of grass long here you know what i mean have you ever drove by and, and saw a crew finishing the property and you're like oh heck no seriously that's what you're gonna give the customer 
Yeah, no, nah, man, I, I can't, I can't do that. All right, so uh, to blow it off, we're gonna use the Oscarvana BR 800C, and um, this blower has uh, hasn't failed us yet. Um, I'm carrying two. I kind of just got used to to using it, you know. And this specific uh, one right here took me like three pulls, but you know, again, first thing in the morning, um, I forgot to, uh, you know, to to. to to choke it and <laughs> so but yeah it is what it is yeah. and that's that's another thing man concentrating on, on videos you, know, you you tend to you tend to, 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 to not think about you know matter of fact you tend to think too much of what you're doing um, it's just like driving you know if you're driving you know you don't have to think about what you're doing signals all that good stuff but the moment you start thinking about what you're doing you know you start messing up and it's just the same thing now guys I'm gonna tell you this um, real quick um, I ended up returning and picking up these things and uh, we took it to the local uh, Goodwill and I uh, made it uh, as a donation I, I, I myself I couldn't see uh, that going to the trash so I came back and, um, you know, picked it up and took it to our local Goodwill. And I'm sure someone is going to make use of it, you know what I mean? So I'm also asked many times um, when I'm blowing, what, you know, where, where do I blow the clippings? And <laughs> I, grow, I blow it right back into the grass. Mm. It, is, uh, it is used as fertilizer, um, you know for the grass and guys let me tell you here in southern u.s with the heat and we come back next week or two weeks from now all of that stuff is gone so we have no issues as far as people bagging it all of this will be uh decomposed by the time we return so yeah it's no big deal another thing that we do guys is um, we clean out the porch. Merry Christmas, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not I'm not uh, blowing anything up there as far as clipping, but you know it's it's a courtesy. It's a courtesy, and uh, we also blow off the cars, ensure that you know we don't leave any dust on the cars. So this is it. That's the backyard. On the right side, that's a big oak tree. It is a huge tree. And everything is clean, looking good. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you're still watching the video, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Um, you know, like, subscribe, share, share the videos. All my videos have uh, a learning, a learning point to them. So. Again, thank you very much, and I still got a little bit more to go. Yeah, but this is what it looks like. From me to you, I appreciate it. And again, this is not a cleanup. All those leaves come from the uh, live oak tree. And I hate to leave that little four-wheeler, but I don't have anybody to give it to. Oh well. Hey, and a review on that Ryobi is coming pretty soon, guys. So stand by on that. Oops. I 
Have you ever forgotten your keys? <laughs> Good thing I can't lock it without the keys, right? Oh well. Man, I really hate leaving that. But, like I said guys, I don't have anyone that I can think of that will benefit from that. But oh well. That's life, right? Oops. Uh. Alright guys. Have a great one. See you on the next one. Pop smoke. Who's hey? Matter of fact. Have a blessed one. <laughs> Bye.